Oh, man, I hate Mondays. Nah, man, it's Tuesday. Wait, 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 wait. What day is it? You know what day it is. Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday. Oh, fuck yeah. Grab a cold one. It's Bruise Day Tuesday. Brought to you by the Cellar and Six Pack Store. Here is Drez and Huck. What do you think, my brother? I think it's Bruce Day Tuesday, brought to you by the Cellar Restaurant and Six Pack Store in downtown Blacksburg. I'm so glad you're here, Huck. Beyond that, it's Oktoberfest in September. September. Yeah, so it's funny because this is this is the first show in fall. And yeah, it's already October. For, or is it really? Oh, well, when, no, it's when, not because they canceled it well, when, last week. Yeah, well, when does they it actually? It okay, again. on a perfect in a perfect world, non-COVID uh, world, when does Oktoberfest officially start? It's like mid-September, is it yeah, not? Yeah, it would, it would have started. Um, let's see if they changed the site yet. But yeah, I know that they. Oh, I don't even see the, they 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 canceled it last week. They just like okay, we're done. We're gonna. They just can't, so like cancel it again. I know that I know that they canceled it last year, and that's yeah. that wasn't too big of a surprise. But right, this year is kind but, of a surprise. But yeah, I mean, like things have been going well. The festivals have been happening. Stuff's been going down. I remember they were even talking about. I fact, in fact, this might even have been last year's, or was it this year's? Where, well, it was supposed to start last week. The 17th, 17th, the very first kickoff. Okay. You know, and it's like, they canceled it. They canceled it. Okay. Yeah. I, I always just, I always canceling stuff, man. It just sucks. Well, the worst part is the announcement uh, is canceled. They say, well, we're canceling again because of the, you know, the COVID. We don't know anything about it. You know, this, and, but next year we're going to have it, but everybody has to be vaccinated, uh, get a test and wear a mask. I'm getting really confused about the science dress. I'm getting really confused about the science thing. I don't like science. I, yeah. I'm not a scientist. I, I don't so think do the I scientists know? are scientists anymore. Yeah. It's like, okay, and then you got to wear your underwear on your head. And then maybe that'll solve all the problems. That probably would do the trick. I'm just saying, if I've seen some underwear. Yeah, that didn't look close. Well, she need to start that, a new study. If somebody put on their head, they wouldn't get anything. Not yeah. even a, yeah. a glance. Problem solved. Problem so, solved. Yeah, I remember they were. So what about the. Weren't they, wasn't like Dubai trying to do a, a offshoot Oktoberfest? They're like, hey, they're oh, not having that. it, but come, we're doing it. So come here. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, there are some local Oktoberfests going to go on. I think uh, Mountain Lake has something. But most of the local stuff will actually be in October, I would imagine. Yeah, I think most, like most of it the is. The September stuff. Yeah, but I mean, I, we do this every year early because it is early. And that's the way we, you know, we got to be real traditional with it. Yeah, I mean, the proper Oktoberfest. It, it starts like on the 17th, it goes 20 days or something. Like it goes maybe into the first so week it, of October. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's almost even by the time you hit October, it's pretty much done. Right. So then we'll do then we'll do pumpkin beers, and then November we'll do Christmas beers, and then we'll just in December maybe we'll just do spring beers, you know. And then we'll just get ahead like all the brewers. <laughs> you know, there's no rhyme or reason in the brewing calendar. Yeah. Hey, it's August. Let's put the pumpkin beers out. But so traditionally it's it's the mid-september early october right and it's basically just a huge party and right, is it specifically in some town in germany uh yeah is well one uh, or is it just nationwide everybody kind of does their own little october no fest it's celebrate. one place and there's only five breweries let me find the uh, wikipedia page and it was for the uh yeah so it's usually the, oh. it's held annually in munich bavaria germany 16 to 18 day folk festival running from mid or late September to the first Sunday in October. See, That's I got so six million people. Go. Not this year. No, no. Uh, I got people. so excited about Oktoberfest. We didn't even talk about what beers we're drinking. I ah. guess I guess it's pretty obvious we're drinking Oktoberfest beers. We are. But I'm drinking the Mars and Lager from Brooklyn. Their Oktoberfest is uh, coming in at 5.5%. Obviously, Brooklyn Brewing is in Brooklyn, wouldn't you know it? Uh, Utica, New York, and uh, they they make some pretty good stuff. That B, that B is a good B. Yeah. So left hand brewing, which uh, you know my favorite thing about left hand brewing is whenever they're at a festival or whatever, you, they hand out stickers and then you can put them on people's butts, like <laughs> like you, you just grab their them. ass, <laughs> you spank them. It's so it's like hand spanky shape. hand. Yeah. And then their Mar Marzon uh, and Oktoberfest is a Marzon lager. That is mm -hmm. that is actually key note. 
is it is actually a Marzen if you're going to have an Oktoberfest beer. A true Oktoberfest. Octoberfest. Octoberfest. Some, some we, people probably try and do an offshoot, right. a spice this or that, yeah. and, and throw an Oktoberfest label that. on it. But uh, so This one's 6.6. All right. I knew I liked these guys. And they're out of, um, I believe they're out of Denver, Colorado. That sounds about right. Yeah. I bet the can will tell you okay, for I sure. I probably read that. <laughs> oh, Longmont, 30 miles away. That's where Close, but everybody's in Longmont. Yeah, That's yeah. You know, they not, probably lump it in. They're not in Boulder. Yeah. That whole one-hour drive, hour-and-a-half drive radius has some of the best beer in the world. Mm. There is a lot of good beer out that way. There but I will tell you, this is probably my, well, I don't have a favorite style in, in my top five. I have five that win, and this is in it. So, but here's the thing. Obviously, you know, with, when it comes to Oktoberfest, that's when all everybody puts out their version of it. Is it? It's. I feel like other than this, I mean, do you, can you get Marzins on a regular basis? Well, Road Dick Guy a lot of is actually a Marzin. Really? Yeah. Uh. Uh-uh. Yeah. I think I, it is. I did not know that. Yeah. I'm not calling Boshi. I'm just surprised. <laughs> so that yeah, you can get it. A lot of places run it all the time. It's hmm. a it's a common. So there are a beer. few. So some people do have some staples, right? Um, I mean, everybody comes out with one for Oktoberfest. You know, I mean, there's like I say, I have sixteen of them. We're gonna do probably eight of them, at least as far as the listening public knows. You know, it's what we do pregame and postgame. Yeah, sometimes you gotta. <laughs> sometimes you gotta have extra beer. Uh, this says it's a uh, according to Beer Advocate. Do you? Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. Says it's a a Mybach, a Bach. Yeah. That rogue dead guy. Is that the same as a Marzen? Yeah, it's close. 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 A German Maybach. Okay, so that's right here. A German Maybach, not to be confused with a Marzen, right. which is what Huck thinks this is. Well, Huck bought two beers, <laughs> one of which we're going to have off off camera. And one of them was a Maybach, and one of them was a Marzen. But they're uh, going to so, be so, so they're, close. They're brothers. You can hardly tell them they're, apart. They're like uh, they're, uh, they're twinsies. A Maybach is going to be a little bit darker. And... Less loggery, loggery. Is that also? Is that the? It's spelt different, right? But isn't that that car? That car that all the rappers love? A oh, Ma- I don't Maybach, know. Maybach, could be. I don't know. I'm not a rap guy. You're not a rapper. No. You should, no, you just, should try that. Huggy. I've, I've heard some. <laughs> heard some rapping. I, you know what's the? What's the Eminem? He's a rapper, right? He is Kid a rapper. Rock, Kid Rock, he's a rapper. I don't know if I'd lump Kid Rock into the rap. Occasionally, world. he's a rapper. Sometimes. He, yeah. he had a couple albums. Couple, his his well, first yeah. one or two was rap He's from Detroit. You know, it's kind of like, that's where I think Eminem's from. I think it's a thing. Eminem's from Detroit? Yeah. So, so I think, is Alice Cooper. Yeah, well, he doesn't so, rap. Yeah, he raps. <laughs> yeah, he's a rapper. <laughs> he's got the hottest guitar player around. Nina Strauss? Yeah. Yeah, she's oh not my bad. God. I got to talk They're just to finally him. back, man. It's cool that like yeah, you know, she was like all some excited. fans are finally you know getting back on the road and stuff. Not the Oompa Band at Oktoberfest. They're not going to be on the road. Yeah, Damn man, it, that's man. such a bummer, dude. Like, yeah, yeah, they just make it. Is up. it because is Europe still like? I mean, I don't know. I, like, honestly, I'm just so over COVID. I don't even pay attention anymore. Like, I don't know how it's going anywhere else in the world. I feel like, I mean, when's the last time you see somebody wear? Every now and then, maybe somebody at a store is wearing a mask, but like. To me, it's just I'm 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 just so over it. I'm done with it. I don't even think about it. Concerts are back. Everything's pretty fairly pretty much back to normal. So unless you're trying to like travel internationally, you almost don't even need to worry about it anymore. It's yeah, just, I mean the thing is, is that everybody's talking about the numbers going up, and but you can't talk about certain things. You can't talk about you know the the horse thing that was a forty year old drug that won a Nobel Peace Prize for saving people in Africa. You can't talk about that. You Horse? can't talk. Yeah, the, the intervec- invect- intervectum or invector. I don't even know anyway, what you're talking about. That just it takes your, you it takes your symptoms go away and you don't die. Ah. But it's free, so nobody wants to sell it. They want to sell $63 billion vaccine. But, yeah. I mean, I don't know. And, but it seems like the countries where everybody's vaccinated are having huge breakouts. And, like, Africa's got no vaccination and they got no deaths. Especially where everybody's yeah, taking also, that do, drug. Do everywhere. they have like the hospitals and are keeping track of stuff like that? Like, I mean, how good? I don't know. Are there? I don't know. I don't know either. I, what I do know is I, I know more about beer. Let's get back to the right. topic at hand. Delicious Marzins that are in Oktoberfest fashion. I got the Brooklyn Oktoberfest, which I mean, I guess October. Like you said, you've probably been sitting on these for a minute because they really start funneling into the beer shops. What, well, actually, a couple of these August? I just got the other day. Yeah, I, I went in August and I picked up uh, pumpkin beers and I picked up these and then I 
got bored and I drank some of them. So I went back, got some more pumpkin <laughs> beers. <laughs> more yeah. of these because I drank them. I did have. I don't, I'm not good at cellaring beer. Yeah, you know, I, some people keep beer in their cellar for years, not me. Yeah, I did have one pumpkin beer uh, after a tech game because that was what was available to me. But I feel like having a pumpkin beer too early is just you just can't do it. You shouldn't do it. Well, I was in Bristol, Tennessee. I'm trying to see if I'm lying or not because mm. there's a, if you're on one side of the street, you're in Tennessee. If you're on the other side of the street, you're in Virginia. Oh yeah, you might which have is, been in Bristol, Virginia. Just a quick note that. All throughout this, if you're in the Virginia side, you got to wear a mask. But if you cross the street, you don't. Anyway, I'll, throw, I'm I'll sure drop that's it not there. The, I bet that's not the case right now. Yeah, yeah pretty much still. Yeah. yeah. I mean, but anyway, so we went to this brewery, and actually it was a multi-tap bar. And the guy had a really good pumpkin beer, so I had him crower me up a can. Oh, okay. So if that lasts that for a week or two. When we start the pumpkins, you get that one. All right. Fair enough. Fair yeah. enough. Yes. Well, in the meantime, we'll stick with the Oktoberfest because I'm looking forward. Oh, yeah. I, I already finished. I mean, this is the problem when we're when we're talking too long. I can't. I'm going to have to steal another sip from you, Huck, because we've been. You, you were <sighs> That's telling right. that I took more story. of my share of this one. So so, uh, so the Brooklyn Oktoberfest, they're Marzen, pretty solid. I, I'd say this one's a, I mean, when it comes to, I, I don't know, what makes a good Marzen? I mean, what makes it taste like a Marzen? To me, they are, they're all very similar because I guess it's a very specific recipe. You can't really vary or throw a bunch of curveballs at it because then funny it makes it so it's not a Marzen. Funny you should Maybe say that. Maybe we should that. delve into that in the next segment. The but, beer purity law. We will. Mm. So, yes. It's good. This is a 425. Because I bet there's room for improvement, but that's that's a good Marzen. So good Marzen to me, it's got a little, you know, it's the perfect color amber. It's got a little bit of caramel mm-hmm. on the back of the tongue. This one's a higher in alcohol. I'm gonna just go out there and give this a five. Wow, this is a good beer. Right out the gate. Right out the gate. Damn. I'm a, I'm a fan of the brewery. I kind of like what they did with the label. You know, they got. On one side, they got the Oktoberfest. The other side, they got some kind of you know puppy dog or something. <laughs> I don't even know what it is. Doesn't it's got matter. something going on. Something going on there. But anyway, this is delicious. I will chug the rest. All right. As he's chugging it down, and it is now gone. <sighs> Bruise Day Tuesday. We'll continue. We'll play a quick tune. We'll come back, and we'll drink some more Oktoberfest beers right here on 105.3 The Bear. <laughs> 